Hi reception. I thought you might be really missing your phonics just as much as I am. So I've managed to hook up my laptop to my television in the kitchen. That's clever, isn't it? So we're going to have a go now. This is very different for me and it's very different for you, but I hope you join in with me. Don't leave me hanging, will you? Doing it on my own. Okay, so just like we always do at school, we're going to go through all of the sounds that we've already learned. Okay, and just to remind you, we have qu, sh, ch, f, ng, a, e, u, o, r, or, ow. Now your turn, try and keep up with the finger. Remember, I do go quite fast, off you go. Hope so. If not, then you can just rewind this and do it again and again, can't you? And you can do it each day and practice and see if you get quicker. Now, another thing that we often do in reception is we have a list of words to read down. These have the sounds in that we already know really well. Okay, now normally we would have a timer, wouldn't we? And we beat the timer every time. I don't have the timer with me. Sillyly, I left it at school. So, we're just going to go down this list together, but if you want to time yourselves, you can do that and see if you beat the timer. See if you can beat one minute. Okay, so I'm going to point to the words and I'd like you to try and sound them out and read them. Off we go. Did you manage to read them? I went quite fast again, didn't I? So the first one was sheep. Sheep, that's right. And the second one was k -ar. car. Car, well done. G oat. Goat. S -u -n. Soon. T -r -a -n. Train. Now this one's often hard, isn't it? Because we don't always hear that second letter, the er. So sometimes children, when they're learning to read, would say tain. It's not a tain, is it? And it's not a ch rain either. It's a t -er -ain. train. Well done. We have ow or owl. Soap. Soap. Well done. B or n. Born, p ark, park, d al n, down. Well done, you guys are brilliant. I just know you're joining in with me. Okay, now, some of you will know this sound already, and for some of you, this will be a brand new sound, okay? And I just want you all to join in if you can. So we're going to look at the pictures that we have around our mystery circle here. Right, we have a picture of the night. We have two naughty boys down here having a fight. Oh, we have some spotty tights. And then we have a light. There is a sound in each of these words. That's the same, so I'm going to say them again. Night, fight, tights and light. Which sound in the middle of those words can you hear? There is a clue just there. This is a picture to help you. Can you think? Yeah, that's right. It's I. Aye, aye, Captain. Can you do that with me? Aye, aye, Captain. I. But what does I look like? This is quite a tricky one. Okay. 
we have got the words here now. So I'm going to read them to you and join in if you can. N I T night. F I T fight. T I T tights. U I T light. Can you see that middle sound? The I. Can you say I with me? I. I, I, Captain. Which letters can we see in the middle of all of these words? That's right. You can see an I, a G, and a H. Let's have a look. Oh! It won't move because it's not interactive. That's me pretending I'm at school. Hang on, let's, I've moved it on the laptop. What am I like? Okay, so we've got the I, G, H. I, G, H. I. Now this is not a digraph. We're used to the digraphs. They have two letters, don't they? And one sound. This has one, two, three letters. Three letters, but one sound. So it's called a trigraph. Can you say that for me? Trigraph. That's a really, really grown up word. But a trigraph has three letters. Okay, so we're going to put I, G, H on our fingers, push them together and say, oh, there's best friends, special friends to make the sound I. And when we see them in a word, we will not sound out and like this. U, I, G, H, T, will we? Because we'll recognise those three best friends are in the word. And it's I. Okay, so read them with me again. N, I, T, night. F, I, T, fight. T, I, T, S, tights. U, I, T, light. Well done, everybody. What's this new sound? Say it again. One more time. Good job, everybody. Well done. Right, I won't touch the television because it's not interactive. It won't work, will it? Now you can have a go on your own at these words, okay? So we know these are I words, okay? It's not ick, okay? It's I. Have a go on your own now. Well done. Good job. Fabulous. Good. You are doing really well. Let's just check you got those right. We have right, sight, night, light. And high. How high can you jump? High. You'll notice I've done something a bit naughty. I've taken away the sound <coughs> buttons. Now, oh, can you hear my dog? She's barking. Um, so, I've taken away the sound buttons. Can you now read the words with I <coughs> in the middle? So, let's have a go. Er, I, t, right. You have a go at the next one on your own. What did it say? What did you read? Was it night? If it was, you got it right. Well done. Oh, night and right. What do you notice about those two words? Yes, they rhyme. Okay, have a go at the last one for me. No sound buttons, no help. Off you go. What was that word that you just read? That's right, light, brilliant. Okay, let's move on now. If we were going to try and write the word light, we need to separate the sounds like this when we first start learning how to write the words. Then we take away the frames. We don't need the phoneme frame once we know how to write the words. But if you want to, you could practice writing this word light the way I have. Have you noticed that my letters are curly? Okay, they're not like the letters in the previous slide when they're more straight, these are curly. So I've gone up the ladder, down the ladder. Same with my if, I've gone up the ladder, 
down the ladder. With Micah, I went up the curly caterpillar, round back to make a circle, and then down a dangly tail and through. Then with my huh, I went up the ladder, down, but then I gave it a bit of an arm, like a one-armed robot. We go up and over and flick. Finally, my t with another ladder letter, I went up the ladder, down the ladder, and then a line. You have a go when we're finished. Okay, and the same with night. Okay, so I've used my frame to separate the sounds to begin with, but when I'm feeling really confident, I won't need that frame any longer. So you can, ha you can pause me now if you want to and have a go yourselves. But again, notice the curly letters. I'm trying really hard to start at the bottom, aren't I? Okay, and that's what we all need to try and do. It's very tricky for reception children, but I have to say, you do a brilliant job at trying. Now we're going to do what we always do in phonics. We're going to read the sentence and see what's under our mystery shape. So let's have a little look here. It, it, it's, is. Now some of you might read it is without sounding out. And if you do, brilliant. If you can't just now, that's all right. You just need to keep practicing. It is dark. Dark, well done. It is dark at, at night. Night, let's read it back. It is dark at night. Hmm, what do you think we might see under this square? Shall we see? Can you tell your grown-up? What do you think you're going to see under the square? Ah, <gasps> did you say a night sky? Did any of you suggest there might be some stars or a moon? If so, well done, you guessed right. And if not, that's okay. We just keep on learning, don't we? We keep on guessing. Okay, it's good to do this because we're making predictions. We're understanding what it is that we have read and trying to think, use our imagination, what might we see that relates to what we have read. So let's try the next one. Oh, tricky word, what is it? Good, the. M, U, N, moon, the moon is B, R, I, Right, read it back to me. The moon is bright. Well done, good reading everybody. Okay, so what might we see under this shape? What do you think it could be? Tell your grown-ups. Did you guess that you would see a bright moon? If you did, well done. Good guessing. Good predictions. Well done. We've got another one here. Okay, this one's quite easy. Let's try and read this one without sounding out too much. Ready? I can see, see, I can see the light. Well done. I can see the light. So again, what do we think we might see under this shape? Can you tell your grown-ups, have a little chat? What could be under this mystery shape? Here it is, is it anything there? Oh, it was a light that you might see in your home, like a lamp. I thought it could have been the sun because the sun is a source of light, but it's not. It's a light that we use in the house. Well done if you guessed that right. But if you thought of another light, that's okay. I can think of other lights as well, like a candle. A candle is a form of light, isn't it? A source of light, so could have been a candle. So watch out for those tricks because I might change it one day. Okay. Now one more, I think this is the last one. This is a bit harder. Okay, tricky word, what have we got here? The. Now that is a very long word. If I see long words like this, what do we have to do? If I see one, I think, oh, that's so hard, I can't do it. And sometimes that's what you say. So what do we do? What do I always say? If we see a long word, what do we do? That's right, we're going to cover up half of it and we're just going to do the first part. So we've got s, uh, n. Sun, that was easy, wasn't it? 
Now let's do the next half. U I T. Light. Sun. Light. If we clap that word, we can hear there are two syllables. Sun. Light. Can you do that with me? Sun. Light. The sunlight is bright. Bright. The sunlight is bright. That's a really hard sentence to read, so well done for keeping up with that. What are we going to see under our mystery shape? Can you guess? I bet you can. This one's quite easy. It's what we've talked about a moment ago. The sunlight. Well done. Good job. I hope you're all with me. Oh, we have got another one. I'm sorry. I thought that was the last one. Silly me. You know what I like reception. Sometimes I'm a little bit bonkers. Okay, right. I think this must be the last one. Ready? Owls. Owls can see. Owls can see at night. Night. Well done. Read it back with me. Owls can see. See at night. So, what are we going to see under our mystery shape? Have a little think. Tell your grown-ups what you think it will be. Will it be a cat? Will it be a dog? No. What is it? That's right. It's an owl because owls see at night. They are nocturnal, which means they come out at night time. Okay. Now, finally. We're going to have a go at writing a sentence for these pictures. Now I'll do one with you and then I'd like you to practice writing a sentence for each of these words. So we have light, night and fight. So I'm going to get my whiteboard just like we would at school and I'm going to have a go at writing one with you. So shall we write about the night? What is it like at night time? Is it light or is it dark? That's right, it's dark. So shall we write, it is dark at night. I'm never going to remember that sentence, so I need to say it a few times. Can you do it with me? Get your sentence arm out. It is dark at night. Can you say it again? It is dark at night. Can you whisper it? It is dark at night. Well done. So my first word is it. So I'm going to start on the line and go up the ladder and down and then I'm going to do the same with my t. I've made it a bit taller than my i. Can you see? Now what do I need next? A space, a finger space. So it is. Can you sound out is for me? Is. There we go. Can you see I've started on the line with both of my letters? It is dark. Can you sound out dark for me? D. R. K. Now, you might notice on my work that my K is a kicking K, okay? It's not a curly K in dark, but if you write a curly K in dark, that's okay. You just might remember that it's kicking. It is dark. I've got no space here. What do I need to do? Thank you for reminding me. I need to go to the next line, don't I? It is dark at. So, at. Now here's the hard word I need to write. It's using our new sound, I. It is dark at night. Can you sound it out for me? Look, you can cheat, you can look on there for me, can't you? Can you sound it out, ready? Mm-hmm, what's next? Thank you. Fabulous. N I T. I might put my sound buttons on just to remind me of those sounds in the word night. Can you read my sentence back with me? It is dark at night. Well done. Thank you so much for helping me. Now you can rewind this video and go back and recap things with your grown-ups or you might just like hearing me waffle on I doubt it though I'm a bit annoying aren't I I talk too much so have a go at writing a sentence for light have a go at writing a sentence for night and have a go at writing a sentence for fight can you do that for me
Thank you. I am so proud of all of you. Keep working hard, won't you? Bye for now.